Hey, what's up guys? Mashin here, coming back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to be going over all the Easter eggs that I personally have found with the Dreams and Nightmares. There's actually quite a few, and there's a couple interesting ones that you might know of, like the QR code on the Ticket to Hell. We're going to be going over all of that, and before we hop on into it, if you guys are looking to pick up any CSGO skins or anything of that sort, I've got a couple links down in the description, but let's hop on into it. First up here, we've got the MAC-10 Ensnared. Now this one's kind of cool because whenever you look at the Battle Scar format of it no matter what condition or how bad it actually is battle scarred your green and blue eyes are going to stay i can't tell if they're green or blue but i think it's definitely interesting that they stay because you could have this whole entire piece blacked out here with just the eyes which might actually look somewhat decent and it happens on both sides of the gun after that we've got the 57 scrawl now this one you're going to be doubling up a little bit this first one's kind of weak you've just got a little face here at the end kind of at the butt of the gun it's kind of cool but doesn't really mean too much the main thing about this one is this skull right here now if you look at the perfect world edition of CSGO or what's out in China they actually got rid of this skull and you can see on screen what it actually looks like it, it's sort of like a mummified version of something it's, it's kind of weird because it, it lines up it, when you look at this one, but you couldn't really tell what they were originally if you didn't see this one first. After that, we got the G3 SG1 Dream Glade. Now, this one's not too much of an Easter egg, but more about the skin. It's really cool because this lake area here is actually going to turn slightly different colors depending on what orientation you're holding the gun at. You can see it a little bit better on the backside here as it goes from a light blue almost to like a darker purplish potential potentially, and then back to a light blue again. After that, obviously, we got the Ticket to Hell here, which has that QR code right there. Now you see some other barcodes and everything like that, but the QR code you can actually scan, and when you do, it'll take you to this website. Now this is actually pretty interesting, and I wish some other people would include it. It takes it to the workshop files of Supreme Matt here, or Supreme Matt, and that's actually the Russian creator of this skin. You can see his workshop here with that gun there. It's pretty cool. You can see all of his other Ticket to Hell on some other guns. And then he had the Nightmare Zone, which is pretty similar. Overall, though, it's definitely pretty cool. As you can see, he really liked the Ticket to Hell, and this was the one that got approved. When we look at the Dual Berettas Melodrama, we'll see here that the eyes are kind of a light yellowish, greenish, and it says Beware of Sleeping. However, when we head to the Battle Scarred format, you can still roughly see the Beware of Sleeping. If you knew what it meant before, you'll see it. But you can see those eyes are part of the uh, damage done to the gun by being Battle Scarred. It keeps pretty much its overall stature it keeps most of what it had going for it and it just gets rid of the eyes and a little bit here in the teeth which i think is definitely really cool and it's something that you wouldn't really expect from this gun you can see it slightly bleeds over this is about as damaged as it gets it's a 0.9925 but you can see that most of the time you get a battle scarred those eyes are going to be gone when looking at your starlight protector here in factory new it looks extremely clean however when we head over to the battle scarred it doesn't actually take away from the skin which i really like it's almost got this rust around it which looks really cool and the only damage I could really find was up here. Otherwise, it seems like this is one of those skins where it just gets much darker, similar to how the Medusa is. I think these are really cool when it keeps its entire design, and especially with all these cool different colors up in here. Then we have the second most expensive skin when you're looking at the Battle Scarred format. Now this is the Factory New. This is actually quite a low float Factory New. And in my opinion, it looks above average, don't get me wrong, but I think it's kind of missing something. When you head to the Battle Scarred format, you get that kind of feel I think the gun was going for. It's got that ominous, like, reddish, purplish color combination to it. It's got, like, a little bit of a darker tint, but overall, I think this one really suits the feel of the gun a lot better than most people are going to get with the factory new. You've got some text, like, you've got Never Sleep here, and a lot of different words that go along with what the gun is about. Night Terror, You've got insomnia, pain, fear, a lot of different things that really go with the gun, but I think this battle scarred format is extremely cool, especially when we're looking at the colors here. Finally then, we got the AK Nightwish. Now this one definitely got a little bit lucky falling in here. I mean, this one you've got Nightwish at the end of kind of the butt of the gun here, but when we head to the battle scarred format is really where you're going to see what's about this gun. 
can actually see the default AK showing through on the original gun when you're looking at the Battle Scarred format. The Nightwish up here is pretty much gone and what's interesting about this is we don't see this at all. It's more of a poor skin design because when you look at the top tier guns like these, something like the AK-47 Frontside Misty, you can see that this area here just gets crackled up. It doesn't actually start showing the default AK. Same with this butt of the gun here. You can see that it gets cracked up. Same when we start looking at other covert AKs. You can see the Vulcan here. It's got that area right here that cracks up but it doesn't go back to the default AK. Same with the butt of the gun here, and same with this handle down here. I think it's just kind of poor design. I've said that already, but I think it's extremely poor design that let that through. But that's really all of the Easter eggs I found. Drop down in the comments if there's any of them I'm missing. I left out a couple small ones that I felt were not very relevant, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.